Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us on the new news. I'm Diane Parker. Numerous local votes about marijuana are appearing on this year's primary ballot and famous Montana hip hop artist Superman is in the studio as he drops a new music video in partnership with the Montana Film Office. But first. The shooting death of a man April 16th in the Flathead is now being called an open homicide investigation. According to an updated news release from the Flathead County Sheriff's Office, 36-year-old Jeremy McKenzie was shot and killed in the parking lot of the Snow Slip Motel and Bar in Essex. The Sheriff's Office says evidence has been recovered and processed. The shooter has been identified, interviewed, and released, and additional interviews are being conducted. Anyone with information is asked to contact the Flathead County Sheriff's Office. Two men are pleading not guilty to negligent homicide charges for the death of a 19-year-old Laurel woman, Lexi Pyle. Last August, she was riding in the pickup driven by Peyton Hunter when it collided with a truck Justin Big Hair was driving. Both men face up to 30 years in prison. Hunter and Big Hair are scheduled to appear in court at a pretrial hearing June 13th. Big Hair and Hunter were released on their own recognizance while they wait for their court date. New details on the drunk driver accused of almost hitting several kids near Highland Elementary School in Billings. 29-year-old Mariah Bearcloud is facing DUI and theft charges. Police say the vehicle she was driving had recently been reported stolen. Bearcloud hit several vehicles and took out fencing and a bike rack on school property. Meanwhile, Russian President Vladimir Putin warned any country interfering with its war in Ukraine would be met with a lightning fast military response. Russia is halting natural gas supplies to NATO members, Poland and Bulgaria. The government claims it's because the countries are refusing to pay in rubles, but Europeans call the move blackmail. Residents in Ravalli County can download a new app that pushes important updates from the Sheriff's Office and the county's Public Health Office. It's similar to the previous app, but with some important distinctions, including the ability to push a notification to individual phones specifically. The app offers quick access to items of public interest, such as emergency notifications, submitting a tip, available jobs, and how to contact the Sheriff. Well, getting around in Great Falls is a little easier thanks to some new signs. 57 wayfinding signs are being installed this week. They're meant to help guide people to points of interest around the city, and it's all part of the city's master plan. And that's today's Leading Look. Deep area of low pressure coming out of the southwest, really starting to move toward the area. We're seeing some clouds, we're seeing some rain and some snow. Off to our west, what is it doing temperature-wise today? Well, we're going to see mainly in the 50s and 60s, but down in the southwest corner of Montana and down there in West Yellowstone may not get out of the 40s for highs today. So where's all this rain coming from? Well, here is that deep area of low pressure. A lot of moisture associated with it. Now we've got some high pressure out ahead of that. So at least central and eastern parts of Montana will be dry to start. And then that's just going to move across the state here in Montana, northern parts of Wyoming, all the way through Saturday morning. How much rain could we get? What about mountain snow? We'll have details coming up. State analysts report that 14 counties across Montana, including nearly half of the state's population, will put marijuana-related ballot measures before voters this June. In two counties, voters will decide whether to restrict recreational marijuana operations. Granite County will consider whether to ban adult-use dispensaries after residents collected petition signatures. Yellowstone County will vote on banning all adult-use marijuana businesses after county commissioners placed the issue on the ballot. Billings already prohibits adult-use dispensaries in city limits. The Montana Department of Revenue reports around 40 adult-use dispensaries are active in Yellowstone County and one in Granite County. In 12 other counties marked in blue, voters will consider whether to implement 3% local option taxes on recreational sales and medical sales. That includes large counties like Gallatin, Lewis and Clark, Ravalli, and Silverbow. Four counties have already approved local taxes. They'll receive their first payments in June. The state estimates Yellowstone County will receive more than $250,000 based on February and March sales. Missoula County only approved a tax on recreational marijuana and is set to receive about $120,000. 
Park County, where local tax took effect later, could bring in $14,000 from March sales. In Dawson County, the local option tax took effect this month, and there are no sales figures available yet. The money distributed to counties will then be shared with local municipalities. The state also reports five other counties are considering possible ballot measures on marijuana for the November election. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.